Hi all the students. Today we are going to study guided transmission media. Now before I jump on to guided transmission media, we all must know what transmission media is. Basically transmission media is that particular medium or link through which data is transmitted in a network from one sender to another receiver. So this is the transmission media which is helping you transmit data from the source to destination. It is also known as the communication channel or the transmission medium or the transmission links. Now if I talk of the transmission media or the transmission medium, there are three broad categories into which a transmission medium can be divided. One is the guided medium which is also known as, known as your wired medium. Another is your unguided medium which is also known as the wireless medium. And the third category is the satellite medium. That means you either transmit data through a wired communication channel or you transmit data through a wireless communication channel or you transmit data through satellites. So these are the three ways in which data can be transmitted. So hence we can say that these are the three different type of mediums or transmission mediums through which data can be transmitted. Now if we look at the guided media, it is again there are, there are various types of guided medias. The four basic or broad categories of guided medias are your magnetic media, your twisted pair, coaxial cable and fiber optics. So the, these are the four different type of guided transmission media or wired transmission media because they use physical wires. Next is your unguided or wireless transmission media. Wireless because they do not use any wires and the transmission is through air. So the different types of wireless transmission media are your electromagnetic spectrum, radio transmission, microwave transmission, infrared and millimeter waves, light wave transmission. So these are the five different type of wireless transmission media. Now talking of the satellite as the transmission media, there are three different types of satellite media. One is your geostationary, then you have medium earth orbit satellites and the third one or the last one is the low earth orbit satellites. So three different types of satellite media are your geostationary satellites medium earth orbit satellites and low earth orbit satellites. All these we will study in detail. Today the media that we are going to study is your guided or wired media and in the wired media we will cover magnetic media in today's class. Now as we all know that the physical layer transports the raw bit stream or raw bits from one machine to another. But from where does this physical layer get the raw bits? We all know that the physical layer is at the bottom and it is directly connected to the physical media. Right? So it is through that physical media that the physical layer gets the raw bits. So various physical media as I said can be used for actual transmission of data. And these three different types of media we have discussed just now. So as I said, today we are going to study the wired media and within the wired media, we are going to cover magnetic media today. So what is a magnetic media? Now guided media, we all know, is one such media that use wires for transmitting data. Hence, we also call it wired media or wired medium. Now, magnetic media is basically nothing but the removable media. One such medium which can be inserted inside these computers or and can be 
removed from the computers hence it is also known as removable media that means it does not have to be inbuilt inside the computer it can be inserted and then removed now the common or one of the most common ways of transporting data from one computer to another is using your magnetic tapes examples of your magnetic tapes are recordable dvds or cds so for example uh, two of you are sitting on two different computers two people are sitting on two different computers and they want to Uh, in the absence of internet they want to trans uh, exchange some information so uh, how can you do it one possible way is that you copy your file onto a recordable dvd first of all you insert your dvd inside your inside your computer then you copy the information or the file inside the dvd you take it out from your computer then you hand it over to your friend he puts that dvd into his system copies all the content from the dvd uh, uh, uh from the dvd to his system or reads the content from the dvd so this is the uh, one of the most convenient method and common ways of transporting data from one computer to another using dvds right now the, they can be physically transported like i said you can hand over your dvd dvd physically to a friend of yours who wants to exchange some data with you so they can be physically transported to the destination machine and then you can put them in that machine and read the data from the dvds they are more more cost effective because one dvd can be uh, generally or roughly can be used for 10 times you can erase the data further write the data onto it so this can be done for up to 10 times so it can be reused several times so obviously it is more cost effective because once you buy that dvd you can use it several time now a standard magnetic media any magnetic media any standard magnetic media can hold 200 gigabytes of data or information right one magnetic media can hold 200 gigabytes of data right and if i assume that there is a box of 60 by 60 by 60 cm which cons consists of several such magnetic medias then that means that one such box can hold about 1000 of these magnetic medias right and if it can hold thousand of such magnetic medias wherein one magnetic media can hold 200 gigabytes so thousand of such magnetic medias can hold 200 terabytes which is a large storage space now this box can be delivered anywhere in the country within 24 hours that means within 24 hours you have 200 terabytes of information at your do step so that means it has a very effective bandwidth this kind of a transmission has a very effective uh, bandwidth which is of like approximately 1600 terabits or you can say 86400 per second which is next to impossible for any computer to achieve such kind of a bandwidth or performance though the network speed is increasing now but then the storage capacity of the magnetic media is also increasing so when many gigabytes have to be backed up on a daily basis right a lot of gigabytes have to be backed up on a daily basis the most effective way of doing is using magnetic media for example in a bank wherein you have to store a lot of data of of banking data and you have to keep a backup of that banking data so that in case of any natural calamity or floods that backup can be used magnetic medias are the best performance wise